Hi friends, I've built a really useful loot zones map for Stormpoint in Season 13, and this shows you all of the different tiers of loot zones on Stormpoint. Looking at the map you can see these zones, and this can help you decide on the best places to drop for ranked on Stormpoint in Season 13. Let me talk you through how you can actually use this loot map to guide you. Typically, you want to either land in a high tier loot area, or try to rotate through a high tier loot zone. You can see where the high tier loot zones are in purple, with mid tier loot zones in blue, and low tier in white. Obviously it's usually better to land in a high tier zone as I mentioned, but sometimes you might find that they're too busy and there are too many teams going there, especially in ranked you don't really want to do that this season, so sometimes a mid tier loot zone could be a better and safer option. This season we do also have IMC armories, and they're marked by the yellow circle, and in fact IMC armories are also good locations to land next to, because within these armories you can get weapons, ammo, attachments and much more by defeating the spectres. And if you didn't know, when you activate the armories, there are 8 ways of spectres that you can defeat, and if you can defeat all of them in 60 seconds, you not only unlock all 8 smart loot bins that will give you upgraded attachments for your weapons, you also get a golden loot ball, which guarantees gold loot inside. And I've had anything from backpacks to helmets to gold magazines, and you'll often get at least 2 or 3 gold items inside. Additionally, shooting the spectres will upgrade your evo armor, and you can even do finishers on the spectres to replenish your evo armor. So that is a strategy you could use to decide on your drop point based on where the IMC armories are. I would say the best strategy for ranked on storm point is to pick a high or mid tier loot zone, that typically has one or two other squads landing there, because even if no other squad does land there, at least you'll get good loot, and if other squads do land there, then there should be enough loot for you to fight and hopefully win. Obviously if you land in a basic tier loot zone, then the chances are you won't get good enough loot, especially if another team is landing there, and generally that doesn't end well for you. Remember, in ranked this season, you need both kills and placements. Lots of early kills outside the top 10 really won't help you rank up, but at the same time, placement in the top 10 without any kills also won't help you rank up faster, due to the higher entry cost this season. Let me share my favourite places to land for ranked on Stormpoint, and these are Checkpoint, Downed Beast, and Barometer. The reason I like these places is because they're big and they've got fairly spread out buildings, which will allow you enough time to grab loot, even if there are other teams landing there. Also typically these places I like have good loot, and normally have at least one or more teams landing there, which means I'm able to pick up good kit that could take me to the end game, but also pick up a few early kills. I do try not to hot drop in ranked, so often I'll see which of these three areas are towards the mid or end of the drop ship before I choose which one of them to drop in, and you could definitely do the same. I should say, you need to find the point of interest that suits you, and that you're more comfortable with, and this will always be down to personal preference. You might find you do like my favourite places, or you might decide you want to find your own favourite places, and the best advice I can give if you want to do that, is to just consistently land in the same 2 or 3 POIs for ranked, and the reason you would do this is because you can then get used to the building layouts and know exactly where the loot is, and this will allow you to loot faster, and more than likely help you to get those early kills. Certainly when I land in checkpoint, down beast or barometer, I know exactly where all the loot is. Now it might not always be the best loot, but I know exactly where to look to pick up a weapon or attachment or ammo, and that can be really valuable. Also don't forget to use this loot map to guide your rotations as well. If you land in a purple zone, then consider rotating through a mid tier point of interest to get to the zone, because it's usually safer, but if you land in a mid tier loot zone, then you should consider rotating through a high tier loot zone to make sure you've got good enough loot for the end game. So you can definitely use these loot zones to understand where you want to rotate based on the quality of loot that you've got off drop. I hope this helps you understand where the best places to loot and drop are on Stormpoint, and this should definitely help you rank up better in Season 13. Don't forget to like and subscribe, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later.